Today is Monday, May 27, 2024. I'm Pastor Michael, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Our text is from 2 Peter 1, 16 to 21. For we did not follow cleverly devised stories when we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in power, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. He received honor and glory from God the Father when the voice came to him from the majestic glory, saying, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice that came from heaven when we were with him on the sacred mountain. We also have the prophetic message as something completely reliable, and you will do well to pay attention to it as a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. For prophecy never had its origin in human will. But prophets, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. Today's text elaborates and adds on to yesterday's theme of remembering, shaping our understanding of Holy Scripture. Peter is remembering what he saw and heard. His teaching is rooted in history, history that he lived. His writings are not hearsay or cleverly devised stories. All the apostles are giving testimony to what they witnessed, the majesty of Jesus Christ. Each of the New Testament books is attributed to one of these apostles. Paul was the last apostle, as one abnormally born. Jesus appeared to him on the road to Damascus. Our trust in the New Testament lies in this fact. The authors had personal interaction with Jesus. Peter then takes us further back in time. We should heed the words of the prophets who spoke about this Jesus. Of course, not remembering, but by looking ahead. We should listen to their prophecies and believe them because they were directed to write by the Holy Spirit, who also empowered Jesus himself. Then Peter teaches us something important. As God inspired and motivated the prophets, we need him to reveal truth to us. He uses the analogy of a light which shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises. God's word comes to shine in our hearts when we are in darkness. We do not understand it until it breaks through into our hearts like the dawning of the day when the morning star rises. The Holy Spirit, who inspired the prophets, empowered Jesus, guided the apostles, now breaks the darkness of our hearts with the light of Scripture. What a marvelous experience to have the light of God's word shine in our hearts as the Holy Spirit reveals Jesus to us. Paul writes about this too. For God made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ, 2 Corinthians 4, 6. We enjoy the marvelous experience of allowing the Holy Spirit to reveal Jesus to us through God's word. The Bible becomes alive to us when that happens. If we are bored with Bible study, or if we are unable to understand what God is saying through a passage, Practice what Peter is encouraging us to do. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal truth to us. Allow the light to shine into the darkness and expect the truth to emerge as the day dawns and the morning star rises. And hang out with God's people, for the Bible belongs to the church and is for the church. Where two or three are gathered in Christ's name, he is with them. Matthew 18, 20. As you journey on, grace and peace to you many times over as you deepen in your experience with God and Jesus, our Master. Grow in grace and understanding of our Master and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory to the Master, now and forever. Amen.